Hi everyone, this is uh, Team 17. The team, uh, our team member is uh, uh, Jiamian, Meibo and I, Yuchen. So Quan is our mentor and uh, our topic is single image background removal uh, based on GAN. Okay, next. So here's the agenda. Well, first thing, first, uh, first is the motivation and then the data set construction and uh, then we, uh, we, uh, we will introduce a model implementation. Finally, we will introduce a performance analyzation and the future work. So here, first, I will introduce a, a little bit about our, our uh, the data set we are using, the COCO data set. The COCO data set is the designed for these five kind of problems. So we are based on the segmentation problem. Next. So, so uh, we re, uh, we actually do some data pre-processing here. So, so here I will basically uh, briefly introduce some um, uh, some knowledge about uh, the UNET. So here here is a UNET model structure. The UNET model structure is uh, kind of uh, simple. So in our pro oh, here is some some basic configurations of the UNET UNET. And uh, what I want to mention, uh, what is important here is that we use, we actually customize our, the loss function. We use the customized uh, LU functions here. Next. So oh, here is the unit, unit result. As you can see, uh, as the epoch goes by, the, the IOU as well as the accuracy, they all goes, uh, goes up. And, uh, and uh, finally it can get uh, 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 an LU over 70%, which is uh, really good. And here is some results. This is a prediction mask. Uh, here's a, a prediction mask, and we multiply with the original images, and finally we get the background removal images. Okay, let me introduce the Tiramis model. The Tiramis model here uh, is a, a classical model for semantic segmentation. Actually, the Ramis model is based on FCM model and uh, it's also implements the ideas of DanceNet. Uh, you can see here, uh, the Ramis model actually looks like the UNET. It contains the encoder and the decoder structure. Here's a comparison of the Ramis model and the UNET. And you can see the Ramis model is much larger than UNET. It, oh, here is a Im in implementation of the Ramis model. We just use uh, the open source GitHub code directly, but made some modification. We add a COM2D layer to make sure the output of the Tiramis model is 256 by 256 by one, which is a, a grayscale probability map. As Yuchen said, uh, during doing experiments, we found that uh, for this highly imbalanced data set, the loss function is really important because it influence the uh, optimization direction. So we do some experiments. And uh, here is the IOU loss, which is implemented on our own. We, and here is the, our out, uh, output of Tiramisu model. And these are also some good examples. And there are some bad examples. As you can see, some human parts are missing, like head here, like arms here. Okay. And then we use our GAN model. Why we choose the GAN model? Because we want to use the adversarial training strategy and we want to expand the model size. We want the one at one, we get the effect larger than two. Here is the generator discriminator, the loss of the, and these are the loss functions, uh, the min max loss functions we just use. Here is the experiments we did for uh, exploring the GAN model. Uh, and the, the final setting. We final set the UNET as the generator and the discriminator will be the Tiramis model. There's a learning rate, batch size, and the iBox. There is a GAN model's output. Uh, as you can see, the output is pretty good with some little region of background. Okay, next part. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Mabel Hu. And this part is about uh, performance analyzation and the future work uh, based on the introduction of Yu Chen and uh, Jiamian. And I will analyze the com comparison of the three models. Mm, as we can see, 
uh, we use the main IOU for the evaluation because uh, we only use one matrix. And, and here is the training, and, training time and inference time uh, from the chart. Uh, the, we can see the UNET model is the most time efficient, which is less than one uh, min minute per epoch, uh, which is consistent with the model size. And uh, the inference time of UNET model uh, is similar to the GAN model. The reason is that the GAN model use the same generator as the uh, UNET model. And that's the page. And here is our platform. Uh, we use the 3P3X2 large instance. And we also use the Google uh, Collab and the Jupyter uh, Notebook. And uh, uh, you can check, re check related links we used. And the later on, we will put our work on the GitHub. Uh, then, then. Here I will show you the training process of the unit. Okay, so uh, so here, as you can see, we use the customized uh, lost function here. And uh, we will train the unit for 30 epoch. So this this is basically our unit, unit model. Okay, let's see the training process. Uh, since our data set is not so large, uh, it only takes less than less than a minute for one epoch. As you can see, while well, the training is going, the the loss is go goes down, and the accuracy as well as the IOU, they are they are growing up. And here, uh, after thirty epoch, you can see the validation accuracy is. Uh, reached up to uh, 85 percent and uh, and uh, based on our own IOU metric the IOU has reached to about 80 percent which is really good here This is our Tiramisu model. As you can see, there are some blocks like dense block and a transition down block. And uh, there is our whole model. We train the model by call that uh, model to Python file. And uh, as you can see, there are the customized IOU loss and the weighted summary loss. The training process is here. And uh, we use the SJD optimizer. The Tiramos, the, this is the training process. We will uh, monitor the IOU matrix and the accuracy matrix simultaneously. And we train this for 15 epochs. This is our, our uh, GAN model and the training process. Um, here is the generator, and uh, this is the generator's loss. Uh, here is the discriminator and the uh, discriminator loss. As the GAN model, training step is different from the other models, so we need to customize the fit function on our own. Okay. And also the data loader uh, need to be changed. This is the training process of the GAN. Because we don't use the built-in fit function, so we cannot see the loss uh, values but it's uh, training now.